they were two days from the election. It's going to be my last probably entry before the election. As you know, our last one we put in, we came up, we uh, uh, we came out and endorsed Hillary I, with a heavy heart, as I called it. I've gotten a lot of calls on that, and very simply, if you listen to it again, you'll hear it's. I, I think she's so experienced. I think she can be really good. I hope she's going to be a really good president. We've said this for years, and she's really got it going for. Her, but they just have this. The, she and her and 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 the, and the former president just have this proclivity for wanting to keep everything under wraps and quiet, and it just doesn't seem to make sense. And and I don't understand why. And and we really do need some major change, and, and I hope she'll be able to. I really believe in the first 100 days, whoever the president is, assuming it doesn't go to the courts, whoever the president is, is we're going to be able to get things done, and then it'll be all out war after that 100 days. But the re- and, 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 and please get out and vote for Hillary. Don't sit back. Just do it. All this new junk coming out of Trump doesn't matter. But the, the, but the issue I really want to hit here is I keep reading more and more in the paper about how bad we're making ourselves look to the world. We've got Trump running. We've got the, all this bad talk, uh, um, um, rather impolite, being um, a bit, uh, uh, not exactly exaggerating, but it, it just going crazy. And we're making the world think that we're all out of it and it's just horrible and democracy is the worst. Well, I'm sorry, I just don't agree. Democracy is messy. What the rest of the world is seeing is that this country can argue with one another, go at it, and we're still going to have an election, and we're going to have a peaceful transition to a new president and whoever is going to be new or reelected to, to the Senate and to the House, and we're going to go on from there, and the republic will endure, and people will look and go, wow, we're not afraid of, of a disagreement here. We're not afraid of going at it. So what? There's all this talk. So we said like a year ago, who cares? Go back to uh, Adams and Jefferson. That was nasty. This is nothing. It's a lot of yelling and screaming going back and forth. And hopefully, uh, reasonability, I'm sorry, being reasonable will, will win out. If it doesn't, then we'll deal with Trump for four years. But the Republic will march on, and it just doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks as we go about this really messy um, uh, election called democracy. And that's why all this is there. This is also kind of, uh, you know, how the, the founders really didn't want the plebes uh, or, or the regular people, the riffraff, to be able to vote. Remember, we couldn't vote for the Senate originally. It was through the states picked their senators because they didn't trust us. Well, that's why the Electoral College is there, and we've been a major supporter of the Electoral College for years, and it's going to be, I think, the uh, the brick, the the, brick, the, uh, the lay, the, the wall here that'll save uh, Hillary. But but please, who cares what the rest of the world thinks? Who cares? It's our election. It doesn't matter. we got goose running or we don't have goose running. we just got to deal with it. We go on. Everybody's going back and forth, and everybody will take a deep breath afterwards. And don't worry about this revolution and all this and what's going to happen to the Republicans. It's going to be like it always does. It'll all eventually come together. Then as the next election's right around the corner, which seems to be the next day after the last election, everybody will start uh, uh, carpeting each other again. And we're just going to have to say, wow, and it never goes away. And when are we going to get that leader? We'll see. But it's going to work out. It's going to work out great. So get psyched. My prediction, I think that the that, that Trump has lost momentum. I mean, who knows? I live in a blue state, a very blue state. So blue it's purple. Ravens won, and the um, and and so I may be getting bad input, but I, I watch MSNBC, CNN, Fox, PBS all the time, all the time, and it just seems like he, he I think he we've seen this before in other elections where they just start running and running and running the challenger or the other side who everybody wrote off, and then they peak and they peak like a couple days too early. Uh, normally you need to get in later and, and rush and then peak. There's nothing else that should come out with WikiLeaks. Or, or, or the FBI. So we'll see. But that's what I'm, I, so I think of. It's, we're going to have another President Clinton after this election. And if we don't, that'll mean the 50 million people we don't know about are going to be coming out and voting. So right on. Go out and vote. Make it happen. Don't worry about the rest of the world. Just move forward because we are still, we are still by far the greatest country in the world. And don't forget it. Peace.